Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your Five in Five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. The stage is now set for CTR's general election gubernatorial debate. It is Monday, September 17th at 7 o'clock at the Schubert Theater in New Haven. Doors to the event will open at 5. Democrat Ned Lamont and Republican Bob Stefanowski committed to participate in the debate, acknowledging that realtors play a key role in the state. Both candidates received many invitations for forums or debates and chose to accept CTRs. Realtors can reserve their seat and seats for their guests to the debate by going to ctrealtors.com slash debate. Members will be entered into drawings for cash prizes, which decrease as we get closer to the debate. So sign up early for your chance to win the biggest prize. Again, all the details are at ctrealtors.com slash debate. Local boards and associations now have a visible way to show that realtors plan to get out and vote in the upcoming election. CTR members are encouraged to visit their local board and take pictures with the Realtors Vote signs, then post those pictures to social media using hashtag CTRealtorsVote. The boards will also bring those signs to meetings and events to help spread the word that realtors plan to vote for a better Connecticut. Connecticut Realtors recently notified the candidates the association decided to endorse in the upcoming State House and State Senate races. The association considered a candidate's voting record as well as answers to real estate-specific issues on the CTR candidate questionnaire. CTR members can view the list of endorsed candidates at ctrealtors.com endorsements. You will be required to log in. CTR may make additional endorsements in state races before Election Day. Connecticut Realtors also endorsed Johanna Hayes in the 5th Congressional District. The CTR Endorsement Committee interviewed Hayes and other candidates in the race prior to the primary. NAR's Realtors Political Action Committee endorsed Hayes in the primary and made a campaign contribution. The committee found Hayes to be supportive of the realtor position on federal real estate issues. She also worked closely with the Greater Waterbury Board of Realtors on its Front Porch Program, which helps clean up blighted neighborhoods. NAR, RPAC, and CTR also support the incumbent candidates in Connecticut's other congressional races. September is NAR's Realtor Safety Month. It's a chance to remind all realtors of the steps they can take to keep themselves safe while on the job. Your instinct is it. It really is. You can do everything, every precaution in the world that you can think of, but it's always your instinct that's going to, that's going to save you. Linda Fercadini teaches realtor safety courses. She stresses the importance of notifying your office where you're going and who you're meeting with. Doing a quick internet search of a potential client to look for any red flags before meeting with them and not holding open houses alone. Fercadini says it's easy to slip and forget to take precautions. Sometimes, you know, even I do it, but I, my instinct always comes up is like if, if I'm in a situation, I'll say, uh-uh, you know, you should have, you should have, could have done it. Well, then I immediately pick up the phone and say uh, to, my, to my office, uh, by the way, I'm over here in such and such a house. Um, I'm meeting somebody, just kind of, I'm leaving my phone on. Fercadini also recommends setting up a code word that you can say during a call to your office to let them know you're in a bad situation and need help. She says every office should set up safety policies. For more realtor safety information, go to ctrealtors.com safety. Several local boards recently announced their 2018 Local Realtors of the Year. The Greater Hartford Association of Realtors honored Joanne Breen, while the Eastern Connecticut Association of Realtors selected Greg Hanner as its Local Realtor of the Year. The Litchfield County Board of Realtors recognized Jeff Geddes, and the New Canaan Board of Realtors chose Kelly DeFrancesco as its 2017 Realtor of the Year. Other local boards and associations will select their Realtors of the Year in the coming weeks. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.